hello everybody and welcome back today i'm going to show you a stitch which is a combination of star stitch and slip stitches it's uh, perfect for baby blankets uh, it has a great texture to it and i'm sure you will enjoy making it because it's um, very easy so depending on how wide you want your project to be you need to chain uh, any even number of stitches uh, so here uh, for my swatch i'm going to chain 22 chains here i'm ready with my chains now let's start a row one start from the second chain from the hook insert the hook there grab the yarn and make one single crochet and all we need to do in this row is to simply make one single crochet in each chain so, so i'm going to go ahead and make the single crochets and i'll wait for you at the end of the row and here row one is ready now let's start a row two chain three and turn now we're going to start working on the star stitch for the stitch you need to have six loops on the hook this is the easiest way to explain to you so we have one the next loop will get from the second chain from the hook Here's the first chain, here's the second chain. Then the next loop is into the first chain, like this. And we need three more loops, which we'll get in the next three stitches. But uh, you need to work in the back loops. Here is the, in, uh, the whole stitch, not like this, only in the back loops five and one more six loops on the hook after that yarn over and pull through all loops and chain one from here again we need to make six loops on the hook the first will pull uh, from here in the middle of this cluster here going there pull up a loop the next will be in this side stitch right there going to the loop take a yarn pull the fourth loop will be in the last stitch we worked in here is the back loop we're going in there pull up a loop and the next two loops we'll get from the next two three stitches here one and two and there we have our six stitches uh, six loops yarn over pull through all of them and chain one and from here we repeat these steps go into the middle pull up a loop then here in uh, on the side pull up a loop then into the next stitch we worked in Pull up a loop and the last two loops are uh, from the next two stitches six yarn over pull through all of them and chain one okay repeat these steps and i'll wait for you at the end of the row so i'm here at the end of the row and i wanted to show you how to finish it um, when you have one stitch left and here at the very end is the chain we just continue the same way as uh, up to, until now in the middle pull up one loop then on the side another then into the last stitch we worked in then the next two loops are uh, in the last uh, stitch uh, and the last loop is into the chain and when we have 
six loops, yarn over, pull through all of them and chain one. And with that, the row is completed. Now let's start row three. Chain one and turn. Now what we need to do here, uh, we need to make two single crochets in each of the uh, stars, um, in the middle of the stars. So we need to make one here at the very beginning, then right here in this little chain space here, you can um, see where all this uh, yarn is coming together in this little space. We are going to work on this row here, 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 here. Let's begin. So the first two single crochets here at the very beginning. Then we're moving on to the next. Here is the next middle of the star, two more there, into the next and into the next, into, and this is how it's looking, just continue making these single crochets until the end of the row. So when you reach the end, here I just made the last, um, I worked into the last uh, uh, middle of the last uh, star. We have two single crochet and then the last single crochet will be here at the end in the chain. Go into the chain and make the last single crochet. Now to start row 4, uh, we need to change the color. I'm going to use some um, white, you can use whatever you uh, like. So, chain 1 and turn. On this row, we are going to work with uh, only slip stitch in each of these uh, stitches and we're going to make it in the back loops of the stitches. Go into the, the back loop of the very first stitch, pull up a yarn and make slip stitch. And then it's the same in each of the next stitches. I'll go ahead with the slip stitches and I'll wait for you at the end of the row. And here is how it's looking at the end of the row. Row 5 is uh, the same as row 4. Chain 1, turn and again make one row with slip stitches in the back loop only. Here's the first stitch. And the second, absolutely the same way as the previous row. So I'm here at the end of the row. I finish it um, with the first color. I'm going to make one slip stitch like this, and from here. We have to chain three for row six. Turn. We're going to start again with the star stitch here. Um, start from the second chain from the hook. So we have our first loop is here. We need to make six loops. The second will, uh, loop will come from the second chain. The third loop will come here from the first chain and then the next three will get from the next three stitches 
we need to work only in the back whoops and this is the fifth and one more yarn over pull through all loops and chain one then uh, we'll make uh, the next uh, cluster here uh, we have one loop on the hook the second will come here from uh, the middle the third loop is uh, we're going to pull uh, from the side um, the fourth loop is again into the last stitch uh, we worked in and the last two loops are uh, from the next two stitches in the back loops yarn over pull through all loops and chain one and repeat the same steps uh, to the end of the row and when you reach uh, the end of the row just finish it like I showed you here uh, down below uh, just one last uh, stitch the same way as the others here we have four loops and the last two will grab from the last two stitches yarn over pull through all loops and chain one and this is how it's looking this is the right side and this is the back side also very pretty from here you have to repeat rows from three to six okay guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye